good part of the day. Within the framework of Legislation News Project by the Ministry of Justice, we will provide you with a summary of legal acts adopted during the week. As we know, on June 18, a government resolution was adopted on additional measures to further improve the activities of citizens' self-government bodies. Can you tell us about this resolution? By the new resolution, a module regulation on the citizens' assembly is approved. And according to this uh, resolution, uh, citizens' assembly is divided into categories according to their uh, geographic location and number of people, I mean population in this territory. So what kind of organizations can be established at the meeting of the People's Assembly? Uh, first of all, uh, this assembly uh, citizens are not included uh, in the state system, which is not part of the state. Uh, so uh, there are three main organs of the uh, Citizens Assembly. They are Council of Citizens Assembly and commissions and audit commissions for the main areas of the Citizens Assembly. Can you tell us more about these commissions? These commissions are the following. Commissions for the Consolidation of Family Values and Commission for Work with Women, Commissions for Social Support and Public Control, Commission on Ecology and Environmental Protection and Improvement of Garden. And these are the main commissions uh, established in the, in the framework of uh, cit citizen assembly. Also uh, in the framework of, uh, of the meeting of citizen assembly, there are three new types of uh, organizations, let's say. Uh, they are Parents University, it's a new term for, uh, uh, in our legislation. Um, the next is Elderly People's Advice, and the third is uh, Women's Advisory Council. These are the public structures of the groups of people which are new to our national legislation. Yeah, and the next document that we are going to discuss is the resolution of the government on measures for the effective implementation of vocational training for young people and women. What can you tell about this resolution? Well, this resolution regulates the relations between uh, entrepreneurs and the state. For example, by the resolution, microcredits are allocated to the citizens who are under the age of 30 and especially for, for the women residing in the territory of Re Republic of Uzbekistan. These uh, credits and loans are allocated by the, by the main two banks. They are Macro Credit Bank and the Half Bank, which is People's Bank. And what about the period that the people or young women or entrepreneurs should pay back the loans that they got? Loans and credits are allocated um, mainly for the two types of microcredits and loans are allocated to the individuals and to entrepreneurs, which are small enterprises uh, for up to six years with a privileged period of three years. And uh, additionally, to up to seven years, it may be in the case of um, having a certificate from the bank. And of course, these sources are to be revised. And this procedure is conducted by the Agency for Development of Entrepreneurship under the Cabinet of Ministers. Microcredits up to 225 million of SUMS are provided only to the micro firms and small enterprises. Thank you very much for the information and now I would like to ask you about the decree of the President on the establishment of the Agency for Cultural Heritage under the Ministry of Tourism and Sports of the Republic of Uzbekistan and measures uh, for innovative development of this industry. Of course, uh, according to this uh, decree, uh, a new organization which is an agency under the Sports Minister, according to the decree it is mandatory now to agree with the agency on draft regulations in the field of in the field and general plans of settlements uh, where real estate objects of material and cultural heritage are located. And the second is um, preliminary results of the state control are announced to the public through the official website of the agency. Uh, within 24 hours um, from the moment of notification of the damage uh, to the object of material and cultural heritage. And third is uh, scientific and uh, technical research groups are formed based on the specifics and conditions of each 
object for scientific and technical research of all states of planning and implementation of conservation and work. The agency is headed by the director, uh, which is appointed and dismissed by the cabinet of ministers on the recommendation of the Minister of Tourism and Sports. Okay, th this is uh, very informative, thank you very much. And also, um, as we know, the decree of the president uh, was adopted on the further improvement of management system of multi-apartment houses. Can you briefly explain the nature of this decree? Well, according to this document, uh, the management of multi-apartment houses, uh, the construction of which was completed and put into operation on October 1st of 2021, uh, will be carried out by the builder in the first two years. It's a great step for Uzbekistan. And the warranty period for multi-partner houses will be extended. From example, from 1st of January 2022, if the owner have debts to the manager, the amount will be reflected in the contract. But the notary office in the registration of property rights to the house and the new owner will be notified of the debt. Subsidies will be allocated also. For example, these subsidies uh, are allocated to the people who are under social protection and registered in the single register of social protection information system living uh, in apartment buildings. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much for your attention. With the full text of the legislative documents mentioned above, you can get acquainted with the full text of these documents on the website lex.us as well as with the latest developments in the legislation on the Telegram channel, legal information of the Ministry of Justice.